am Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Do you know what happens after a sperm enters an egg? Do you know what fertilization is? Do you know the path that the sperm has to take to reach an egg? Let's try to understand fertilization. Well, before we do that, we need to understand a little bit of the female anatomy. You need to understand what goes on inside a woman's uterus. Uh, what are the parts? Uh, it makes it very easy for us to understand the path the sperms take. Now, this is the uterus here. The uterus is connected to two tubes which are open. They are really like tubes. They open up on the ovary which is making eggs. You know, every month it releases one. So when it does release, uh, egg comes and waits in the tubes. This is like a long, you know, capsule, the uterus. It's a very small capsule-like thing. It opens by a small cervix here and also through the vagina. So that's basically more or less in a nutshell a female anatomy now what does the sperm do once the sperm is deposited in the vagina it's a very uh, sticky gluey substance so all that semen is supposed to be left behind and only the sperms are supposed to swim out so remember that when the semen is left behind do not panic do not think that it's not a good sign to get pregnant it is a good sign that's what nature has intended the semen has to be left behind and the sperms swim up as they swim up, you have to understand that it's a very hostile situation here. It's much like a jungle, it's like an Amazon forest where there are a lot of hardships for the sperms. It's a very hostile, acidic uh, condition. So only the best sperms are able to make it until here. So they have to be very uh, good in motility. They have to have a good morphology. That is the shape, just like an arrow. So they need to have a specific shape, size and weight as well. Then reach up until, until the uterus head. Now, inside the tubes is the egg waiting. The egg has a shelf life, like I said before in a lot of videos, only 12 to 24 hours. Now, while it is waiting, a few sperms only, a few hundreds are able to make it till the egg. And you can see a lot of them get attached and fortunately, only one is allowed to enter the egg. The egg releases signals that the sperm has, it selects the best sperm and then the sperm enters the egg egg that's how fertilization is brought about so it's quite a long journey for sperms to take to reach the egg it has to be at the right time uh, but the sperm can survive in the uterus for three days which is why we encourage patients to have intercourse every once in three days so that there are sperms available no matter when the egg is released especially when they are trying for pregnancy so it's a very difficult journey for the sperms but if your conditions are good, if the uterus is good, if the egg is being released properly, if the tubes are open, if the sperms are good, fertilization occurs and a pregnancy happens. If you want to understand more, if you want to see what your chances of uh, pregnancy are, you want to see when is your fertile window, you want to understand that, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.